Shalom. Call Holaim La Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem Akakwadash. Double honors to the hitters and apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. And they sincere Shalom to the 144,000 and, and the one third. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is a video going into Russia's uh, nuclear arsenal. And Babylon the Great is looking real, real quiet <laughs> ever since this dropped, right? So, without further ado, I'm going to play this video. Watch this video, guys. Damn, Russia. Russia. This is footage of the Russian Bore nuclear submarine surfacing at the stadium, leaving the audience in awe as Russia's ultimate ace. It can launch a doomsday salvo within 20 seconds. Really? Launch four intercontinental nuclear missiles and instantly wipe out a small or medium-sized country. This is... Now, as the scripture says here, Revelations 18 and 19, And they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city wherein were made rich, all that had ships in the sea, by reason of her costliness, for in one hour is she made desolate. And that's talking about Babylon the Great. In one hour, all those nuclear missiles is going to pelt this place and, and demolish it. And this is going to be a part of that arsenal of Russia's nuclear submarines, man. Now, this is some, some heavy stuff right here. No country dares to challenge Russia head on. There's a reason this weapon was given the title God. But what makes it so powerful? First, it is extremely elusive, taking its invisibility to the extreme. After all, spotting a silent nuclear submarine in the vast ocean is nearly impossible. The noise emitted by the Baishan submarine is only 108 decibels. Damn! Two decibels. This is 2nd Ezra 16 and 16. Like as an arrow, which is shot of a mighty archer, returneth not backward. So, when these nukes begin to be launched, okay, on this place known as America, there's not, they're not gonna, it's not gonna be, um, there's not gonna be no nuclear defense system to block them. They're not gonna malfunction. They're not gonna return around and hit Russia, they're going to do what the Heavenly Father created them to do. Let's go to this right here. Because <clears throat> this is not a game. This is not a joke. And you got bug out saying nukes aren't even real. You got, you got Israelites out here saying, and heathens saying nuclear weapons are fake. This is Jeremiah 15 and 14. Put yourselves in array. Let's go into that word array. All right. And it means what? To arrange. To put in order. To lay in order. So to have some type of structure against Babylon. All right. Round about. So they're going to be in order surrounding this place. To launch it with nuclear weapons. All ye that bend the bow. Shoot at her. Spare no arrows. For she hath sinned against the Lord. And this is not talking about. Um, a literal bow and arrow man. This is talking about. Nuclear. Weapons. Being shot out there. Out of these submarines. Being shot out of these silos. All right. More than the 110 decibels of the U.S. Ohio class nuclear submarine. Can you imagine? The true ghost of the deep sea, whether it leaves openly or acts secretly. Wow. Make the opponent's heart tremble. The Bore nuclear submarine is 558 feet long, 43 Damn. feet wide, and has a maximum diving depth of 1,476 feet. Wow. 190 to feet deeper than the U.S. Ohio class. It can stay in the deep sea for more than 90 days. 90 fucking days. So this is the type of weaponry the Heavenly Father has given Russia, the chief prince, to take out America.
This is Joel 2 and 3. A fire <clears throat> devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness, yet yeah, nothing shall escape them. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen, so they shall run. So this is going this is describing those nuclear missiles flying through the air. Alright? And 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 the horse, the reason why it says horse is because a horse represents power, man. And they're running because they're flying through the sky across the planet. You got the ICBMs, you got the hypersonic, supersonic, all that. Alright? You got these nuclear missiles and these submarines. Like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains shall they leap. Like the noise of a flame of fire that devoureth the stubble, and as a strong people set in battle array. Before their face the people shall be much pained, all faces shall be gathering blackness. When you see those nuclear missiles, and you're here in Babylon the Great all jacked up, because you're in the midst of Jacob's trouble, and somehow you survive Jacob's trouble, and you all, you know, you're, you're whoever you are, right? Not a part of the elect, and then you see these just millions. Millions of nukes just just block like that scene where they they block the sky with them bow and arrows, man. You just see all these nukes just blocking the sky, man, and they finna rain out rain down on you. It's gonna be outrageous. Verse seven: They shall run like mighty men; they shall climb the wall like men of war, and they shall march every one on his ways, and they shall not break their ranks. And that and when you go into um. When you go into this, there's a this is spiritual. There's a, a a a movie scene where it shows a new kid in the city and is climbing up the walls, is climbing up the buildings, is completely devouring the whole city, man. Neither shall one thrust another; they shall walk every one in his path. And when they fall upon the sword, and when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. They shall not. They shall. Like I said, nothing is going to stop these nukes. From doing what the Heavenly Father created them to do. They shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run up upon the wall. They shall climb up upon the houses. They shall enter in the windows like a thief. The earth shall quake before them. The heavens shall tremble. So that's going into these nukes. Uh, just just shaking shaking the earth, man. Shaking this, this continent. Because these nukes, when they hit, it's going to leave an after effect on the planet earth. All right, not a, a nuclear fallout. The whole entire Earth is not going to go through a nuclear fallout, but the the Earth will feel this 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 nuclear uh, Armageddon. Now let's get this right here. So this is Isaiah, <clears throat> this is the book of Isaiah 24 and 20. The earth shall rock, shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be removed like a cottage, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again. And that's that, that those nukes, those nukes are very uh powerful, all right? Now let's go to, um... Let's go to this right here. This is Revelation's sixteenth chapter, and um,
Actually, no, I don't want that. I'm going to go to Revelations 9. So this is Revelations, the ninth chapter, and um, verse 16. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand, and I heard the number of them. And that's going into the nuclear missiles that are going to cut all the nuclear missiles that's going to rain upon this place known as America. There's going to be 200 million of them. You see, the Heavenly Father is going to really demolish this place. It's not just going to be a regular nuclear uh, what what you see in these movies. No, this place is going to be completely wiped clean from the wickedness that is done to the children of Israel. Now, I'm going to go back. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this. I'm going to finish this video off. Of the Ohio class, because it is nuclear powered, okay. its endurance is almost unlimited. Wow. However, the most significant deterrent of the Bore nuclear submarine is its ability to carry 16 Bulava submarine launched ballistic missiles. The missiles have a range of 4,971 to 6,214 miles and each carry 10 independently chargeable nuclear warheads. Wow. A single submarine can carry a total of 160 nuclear warheads. He's considering that it takes five nuclear warheads to destroy a large or medium sized city. Five can Russian imagine? submarines can eliminate a superpower into minutes, even for a country with a comprehensive missile defense system if it wants to intercept the Bulava submarine launched ballistic missile America should see option. this Revelations 20 and 14 and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire this is the second death alright and that's a cut to you to you fucking heathens man because only fucking heathens are going to follow uh, that Catholic and um, that that Roman Cath Catholic doctrine of hell. All right. If you you calling yourself an Israelite and you following that, the Heavenly Father is not fucking dealing with you, man. All right. No Israelite, a true Hebrew Israelite, which is having the 100 percent truth. All right. You, you can't follow that shit. You're, you're 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 putting on the fashion of the heathen. That bullshit like that is why we're in this situation now. All right. While we were no people. And them nukes, when them nukes start bubbling and sizzling here, man. That's going to be that lake of fire. This is Jeremiah 50 and 29. Call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow. Camp against it round about, let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her work, according to all that she have done. Do unto her, for she have been proud against Yahweh, against the Holy One of Israel. So, you Edomites, you devils are through. Because the Heavenly Father is not playing with you. The Heavenly Father came. To redeem his people. Let's get this Luke 1. And 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Did it say blessed be the Lord God of the world? Did it say blessed be the Lord God of the nations? The heathen. The Edomites. The Moabites. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. We have visited. And redeemed. His people. So this. The only people that's going to be saved here in Babylon and great from this nuclear hellfire is, is the Israelites, man. The rest of you, you people, you two-thirds, all right, you heathen, are going to get caught up in this, this right here. Let's see if I can find it. You see that? Boom. You see that? That's, that's the scene I was talking about. You see how it's climbed? You saw how it climbed up that building right there, man? That's the spirit. Look. Boom. You see that? You see how it just, it climbed up. It didn't go down. It didn't just stay in a straight path. It literally climbed up, man. Do you see how spiritual all this, all this is? 
the Heavenly Father is not playing. You see that? That's the fate of this place of America because of the wickedness is done to the earth, primarily to the children of Israel. And with that, Shalom.